Hey what's up guys, it's Darius, and this is the Huawei Mate 8, 5 months after its release. In famous Huawei fashion, there is a large emphasis on design, it is made from a metal unibody and it looks stunning. In the hand, it feels very premium and seamless. In fact, the design is actually very similar to the Mate S which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Link is down below if you're interested. It lays nicely in the hand but it's kind of slippery due to its size and the materials. Build quality is amazing. It is very solid, nothing moves when I try to bend it but it will definitely get scuffed up when you drop it. Taking a look around the phone, the buttons on the right are nicely placed and tactile and the slightly protruding power button is easily reached with one hand. The bottom houses a charging port and the speaker grills. Like with other Huawei devices, only one of them houses a speaker and the quality is good and it gets pretty loud. The positioning isn't the best but I mean it's still better than rear facing. On the left side there is the SIM slot which can be used either with two SIM cards or a SIM and a micro SD card. The camera on the back is only slightly protruding and the fingerprint scanner below it is amazing. The fastest I've tried and also super accurate. You literally need to tap it and it unlocks in about half a second. The front looks great since it's almost bezel-less, but don't get me wrong, this is a huge phone. It has a 6 inch screen. Now considering that, it isn't that huge, but it's still very very big. Anyways, the display is a 6 inch 1080p AMOLED panel and it looks great. Sure you might think that 1080p isn't good enough for 6 inches, especially since it's the company's flagship. While Quad HD would be nice, I'm totally fine with only 1080p and I didn't miss Quad HD. The colors are very saturated, so not accurate, but I really like it. Viewing angles are great, and it also gets pretty bright. Additionally, you can even adjust the color temperature in the settings if you like. Specs wise, it runs Huawei's own chip, the high silicon Kirin 950 paired with the Mali T880 and 3GB or 4GB of RAM. I have the 3GB variant. In terms of benchmarks, it completely destroys the competition, apart from maybe the S7, and it even gets laptop-like scores, at least in multi-core performance. Real life performance is really great also, no lag at all, and all animations run smoothly. Over the last 5 months, performance was consistently good, sure there were some small hiccups, but that's it. Now in previous Huawei smartphones, I did not like the software, but now it's actually much better. It runs EmotionUI 4.0 on top of Android Marshmallow and it really fixed a lot of things. It is still a heavy skin, there are not many Marshmallow design elements and it's very similar to iOS, but I don't really mind that. It has some neat animations, they fixed the recent app mode, which is much better now. There's still no app drawer, but it can add one with a launcher. It also still has a lot of good features like one-handed mode, split-screen mode but there are only a couple of apps available for it, there are also some gestures, knuckle sense and a built-in theme engine, the home screen grid size is adjustable and there's a built-in screen recorder. Still one of my favorite features about it are the discrete notifications. Luckily, it barely has any bloatware installed, unlike the previous versions. It also comes with marshmallow features like now and tap, doze and app permissions which is great. Sure, they haven't fixed everything, like when I play music on Spotify, it still doesn't show up on the lock screen, and it has huge RAM management issues, where when I open an app, switch to a different one, and then go back to the first app, it has to reload everything for some reason. That's definitely software related because it has enough RAM, and I really don't like that. In my Mate S review, I said that the software was its biggest weakness, and it no longer is with the Mate 8. It comes down to personal taste, I like it, and again if you don't like it, you can fix most of it with a launcher and an icon pack. Sure, the software is necessarily the best, but it's much better than before, and if Huawei will continue to fix the issues that I have with it, it's going to be great. Also, older Huawei devices, which I've reviewed in the past, always had a bad software, so if they get the Marshmallow update, they're gonna be great phones. The camera on the back is a 16 megapixel shooter with an aperture of f2.0, OIS, and a dual tone flash. You can launch it by double pressing the volume down button when the screen is off. The app is very similar to the iPhones. You can swipe through the different modes, there's some settings and filters. You can even adjust the image it outputs, which is really cool. The focus and shutter are very fast, and the images it takes are very nice and detailed. Colors pop and are saturated, but not super accurate. White balance was on point, and dynamic range was decent. In low light, it performed well, but it tends to create a warmer image with an orange tint, 
similar to what Samsung does, and it also takes a little longer to take the picture. The video it shoots is nice, but for some reason it's only 1080p and not 4K. I have no idea why that is. It also has an 8 megapixel front facing camera, which can take some nice selfies. Now battery life on the Mate S was the only thing apart from the software I didn't like. I got about 4 to 4.5 hours of screen on time, which isn't bad, but not great. On the Mate 8, however, it is insanely good. I actually got the best battery life I've ever gotten on a smartphone. For example, it lasted me through a complete weekend, and I got close to 9 hours of screen on time. Seriously, 9 hours. On average, it was about 8 to 9 hours probably, depending on the usage, and that's amazing. To see if that was just my usage, I did a Geekbench battery test and I got almost 10 and a half hours of screen on time. That really is insane. With normal usage, it can definitely last 2 days and I don't think I can kill this battery within a day, no matter how much I use it. This awesome battery life is thanks to the gigantic 4000mAh battery Huawei has managed to fit inside the slim body. It sadly doesn't come with wireless charging, but with quick charging. Overall, this is an amazing phone which really impressed me and I was so surprised how much I liked it. It has a gorgeous, seamless design and build with a nice display, some amazing specs, performance was great, and they fixed a lot of what was wrong with the software. The camera is great too, but the battery life really is my favorite. This is truly the new battery king. I can really recommend it, the price also isn't that high, and if it's too big for you, then you can also check out the Mate S, which is already a great phone, but it's going to be even better once it gets the Emotion UI 4.0 update. Again, my review of that is down below. If you want to pick up a Mate 8 or a Mate S, I will have links down below. Make sure to use them, it will really help me out. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a like down below, comment if you have any feedback, follow me on Twitter, link is also down below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one, bye!